You know what's funny about this whole process? Is sometimes it takes longer to come up with an idea and decide exactly how you're going to execute that idea than it does to do the work. <laughs> you know? Here's a shot with the backbone brace in place just so I can see it from a different point of view. It's not welded, it's just cut to fit and propped in there by its own fitment. I kind of like it. It's, it's right where it needs to be, straight up and down pretty much. Yep, I think that'll be fine. I'm not going to weld it though because I'm thinking I may want to weld some accessories to that before I put it in there like a battery holding rack or something to that effect anyway food for thought well so as you can see I'm working on the gas tank mounts and what I've decided to do is I cut a piece of small pipe I don't even know what size it is it's not half inch and it's not it might be 3 8 or something do they make 3 8 pipe anyway I cut it to fit in between the mounts here and I drilled it out so a bolt will go through it. Then I took another piece of 7 8 tubing like I used on the rest of the frame and fish mounted it so it can be welded up underneath the backbone of the frame. And I drilled a hole through that for this pipe to go through and I'll weld that. And this will give me, this is the same type, size pipe as the backbone. And I think you can see just how much clearance that's going to give me all the way around it. Maybe you can. Might be shadowed, I don't know. But yeah, it looks like a lot, but I don't want it rubbing on the frame because that just wears your paint off. And apparently this tank was made for a Sportster, a Harley Sportster. And apparently those the metal work in those frames is a lot bigger than what I'm working with here. So, anyway, I also have, I'm going to try to make this a multi-function thing. And I'm going to fix this to where it has a nut up inside it and I can screw a bolt up underneath it. And that way if I need to mount something, I'll have a place to mount something. So, just a little trick feature I'm going to throw in there while I'm doing it. I mean, it's going to be hanging down off the bottom of the frame anyway. And there's plenty of clearance under there for it. So, yeah, that's what I'm doing. All right, well, there it is, welded up. I just got to clean it up. Make sure I didn't weld my nut. And, uh, yeah. Now just get welded up underneath the frame. It'll support the gas tank and whatever else I choose to bolt on the bottom there. So that's going to be just groovy. I'm going to let her cool off and uh, clean that up tomorrow. I have to go to work again. So, there you have it. Show you more later. Alright, there's that little rascal. She's kind of hot right now. I just got her cleaned up. See, I got my hole in the end where a bolt will go. Got the slag and splatter kind of cleaned up on it. And now I just got to put the tank on there, put this in place and bolt it to it, and then hold it in place and tack weld it to the frame. Another Chinese acrobatic juggling act. Yeah. Okay. There's that rascal welded in place. Cleaned up. Got all the burrs and the slag and crap like that off of there. And now, I have it marked on the frame where the back holes go. Right here on both sides. And uh, I gotta drill a hole there and drill a hole on the other side. And then hog it out with a smaller or larger 
bit to go all the way through and hopefully get it straight. And so I'll have a place to mount the rear end of that gas tank. That's going to be completely fun. Yeah. Well, I got that hole drilled by using a step bit and then a series of smaller to larger bits and kind of hogging it out as I went to make sure that it came out uh, square with the frame instead of being crooked or offset. So, yep, my bolt slides through there. I just gotta clean up the burrs and that tank will be ready to mount. Yeah! Well, the first thing we're gonna do is take that bolt that I had in there when I was welding out of there and replace it with a brand new untarnished bolt just so we'll have it for later. With a lock washer and everything to keep it in place. Nice and snug. And then we'll proceed to putting the gas tank in. As I get my nuts and bolts in order. Okay. So, the way I've done this, I have just enough room on each side of these tangs for a washer. And that will help prevent the paint on the inside of the tank tang from getting marred and you might notice I went to these brass colored bolts I don't know what they're called I don't know what the difference in the alloy is I don't know about that but anyway and there's a lock washer on there and if everything went well It will line up in the back too. And I do hope you were able to see that. And I'm going to be using the same method in the back. Have a washer on the bolt. And a washer on the inside of the tang. Slip the bolt through the hole to another washer. Oh, sweet. Sweet! And I may actually have room in between there for another washer. I don't want to do that though. I don't want to bend these tangs either. Yeah, it's a little bit loose. Yeah, I may have to put an extra washer in there. Well, just as luck would have it, I had enough room for two washers one on each or two on each side in between the tang and the backbone which keeps it symmetrical I like that so there it is all I gotta do is tighten it up well there it is and when you come up on it and you look down that's what you see That's not beautiful, but it's not bad. She's good and solid. And yes, I did check. The petcock has plenty of room to come out of there without hitting anything. I believe that's going to be just dandy. Woohoo. What's next? <laughs> All right. Well, I'll tell you what's next. I got a package in the mail yesterday, and here it is, and uh, you can see that. But that's going to be a different story on a different day. I just took her for a ride, and uh, I tell you what, there's absolutely no sneaking around with that exhaust like that. Every time I came around a corner and there were people out in the yards, they were standing there looking, waiting for me to get there so they could see what it was. <laughs> but yeah, there's no sneaking and no hiding with that rascal. And I'll tell you what, that paint is actually working out. Let me show you. 
the uh, the header itself was steaming and smoking. It was burning off that fresh paint, you know, curing, doing that rapid cure from the inside out. And the uh, that's all heat paint all the way down the header. But on the back, there's heat paint on it, and then primer, and then gloss black, and then that silver metallic. And you know what? The tail fin itself looks glossy or smooth as can be. It's but right up around the front where the holes in the pipe are, I can see it bubbling just a wee bit. You probably can't see it from here. But uh, you know what? Even if it does bubble and stuff, it's still going to be silver. <laughs> so, yeah, I can live with that. It'll work. If someday it ever goes to crap, we'll figure out a different thing. I may want to play with exhaust systems. And, uh... Because I do want to be able to ride this thing around town without getting in trouble. And, uh... It's just a little too obnoxious. Especially if I'm thinking about late at night. So... There may be alternate exhaust systems. I know back when I had my Harley, I had it set up to where it was a full dresser, it was a sport about, it was, uh, you know, I could put all the fairings and bags on, I could take them all off and change the pipes. I had three different sets of pipes for that. So, right now I've got the stock muffler and I've got this exhaust and I've got the straight drag pipe that I made. There's three mufflers for this thing already. But I think I'm gonna keep experimenting and see if I can't come up with one that just completely whispers. So all you hear is the tappets and the engine slap noises. And see if I can't get her good and quiet. Just just because I'm curious if I can't do that. Alright. So well, I'm going to quit rambling and get out of here. And I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Once again, I want to thank you for coming by and watching me do that. And uh, let me know what you think about that gas tank on that little rascal. I hope you like it as much as I do. I think it's pretty swell. And uh, yeah, so I guess that's it for now. I'll see you guys. Take it easy. And uh, thumbs up my video. <laughs> I'll see you guys. Bye bye.